Hello and welcome. Uh, it's been a very exciting three days for NASCOM and the man who's perhaps had to bear the brunt of uh, the work or most of the brunt of the work is N. Chandrasekharan, uh, CEO of TCS and also chairman of NASCOM this year. He also obviously has been seeing or had a pretty good ringside view of what's been happening. So we thought we we're going to ask him a couple of questions but more focused on what's happened in the country or what's happening in the country rather than what's uh, happening on the export side and that's something that we've covered in some detail with a whole lot of other speakers. Chandra, thank you very much for uh, joining us. So let me pick up up on this question that you posed to uh, Nandan Nelikani, chairman of the Unique Identification Authority of India. You asked him what can Indian industry do in order to get hitched with the opportunity that uh, technology offers or what technology can do to change governance to maybe address the bottom of the pyramid and so on. And TCS is perhaps already in, involved in many ways on that front but I'm sure you had more thoughts. Uh, thank you Govind. I think the the most important thing to realize is that we have a huge opportunity in this country. Uh, we have a lot of issues to tackle and a lot of things to do. And at the same time, technology is probably going through an inflection point. On the first time, we have a combination of technologies which together can make a huge impact, huge social impact and solve and address issues of inclusion, education, healthcare, or any of the societal challenges in terms of water, power, what have you. I think the reason I say that is the technologies today are enabling a new way of doing things. You call it platforms, you call it cloud, because what is happening is you are having an integrated view of things because the data is getting integrated and the process is getting digitized and we say it's on the cloud but all it means is that you have access to real-time data and you're able to do real-time analytics and you're able to do decision making real-time and, and, and convey the information or insight whatever uh, and then make decisions right. and all of these things are a huge opportunity. I think the UID is a is a great step because it gives the foundation architecture if you will because you're going to have an identifier and which can be hosted on the cloud which is on the cloud and real time you can access that and there are many things you can do but a huge number of you call it apps you call it platforms I think that's the opportunity so I think uh, it's exciting uh, because that uh, that uh, that opportunity is there so what I was asking Nandan is he has got the experience of uh, running this whole program. So if you have to leverage all of this, we know that we have the talent, we know that we have the skills, and uh, we have the scale today. But how do we bring it all together and do one, two, three things which can make a huge impact? There will always be things that, you know, which one is not able to address, but but there are many things that we can do if, if, if we collectively work towards right. Uh, bringing all this together, right? And, and you've already have a foot in that in yeah, that world. I mean, absolutely. through uh, absolutely. working with the income tax or yeah. the passport uh, yeah, department. Yeah. Yeah. But what's your experience so far? And more more importantly, is it profitable enough for you to look at this as a serious opportunity? I think there are uh, multiple ways of looking at it. Uh, if you ask me, uh, you know, can we do more? Uh, often people ask, you know, um, are we doing enough? Is the technology spent enough? by the government. Uh, see, the answer is that we have to do a lot more. Right. Because the opportunity is huge and we can bring in great speed in tackling many of these problems. Um, many challenges. But we have to appreciate two things. First, whatever mission mode projects that have been implemented, whatever mega technical project that has been implemented in this country, it has all been implemented very well. Because these are huge programs, whether it is a passport, whether it is a MEA or income tax or uh, even our depositories or you take yeah. pensions. There are many programs stock, that have been done exchanges. across the, across the yeah. country. I think we have as a country uh, and the government, I would give a lot of credit for the bureaucrats and the government over the years to be able to pull it all together and then drive change and get the programs implemented, which is very hard because there are a lot of examples around the globe where such initiatives have been tried and they have failed. 
So, and it's not easy to pull off this thing. It's just, just not because you have the money or you just kick off a project, it gets implemented. It requires a lot of change. And second thing is that we have more complexity than anyone else. Because of the way uh, our demography is, because of the variance that we have in terms of language, so in terms of governance culture, process, in terms of yeah, everything. Yeah. We take, I think we have a lot more challenges than any other part of the world because we are not homogeneous. We are homogeneous in our uh, thinking, but heterogeneous in the way we, uh, we are structured. So I think uh, these two are very important facts and we should acknowledge that. But having said that, I think uh, we have got to figure out a way of accelerating, we have got to figure out a way of uh, uh, simplifying the way these projects are uh, conceived and uh, make them attractive and all those things are true and, and but, but the opportunity is huge right so if I were to take it and everything yeah. is not going to be done by the government let sure. me put it that way sure. so I think if the UAD is a foundation platform and you have got the knowledge network you've got the fiber then I'm sure there'll be a lot of private sector opportunities to run platforms on all of this as long as the interfaces are defined. Right. And that has to get defined and for that a lot of thought leadership is required. And, and a lot of it is maybe more thought leadership than pure technology applications. Yeah, thought leadership followed by execution. <laughs> <laughs> so if, if we were one, one were to take a step back, what are your kind of key priority uh, themes or areas for TCS as a company for the year ahead? Uh, I think uh, for uh, TCS, actually, we have to uh, uh, continue to uh, seek opportunities, expand um, in our current business model. And we have made a lot of investments in terms of uh, non-linear engines, uh, what we call as platforms and products. And we need to scale those. Third thing is uh, we have got to uh, empower the workforce. And we have a large pool of people, 274,000 professionals and uh, we've got to get um, um, uh, more innovation coming out and how do we empower, how do we leverage the collective wisdom and that's going to be a key area and from a domestic market point of view I think uh, we have a good presence in the domestic market but I think there are uh, huge opportunities in the market both in the corporate sector and the government sector we will, we will look at that. So what's the let's say the, the fastest growing segment within uh, the TCS portfolio today and, and what looks really interesting? Um, Govind I think you know I am um, seeing opportunities in all the industries in which we operate and all the markets in which we operate. You used to be an engineer. I just, if I, remember. I just do not want to say that this is uh, yeah. uh, going to work and this is not going to work. Yeah. I think there are opportunities in in all the markets in which we operate, and all the industries have uh, got different kinds of opportunities. Some industries are adopting uh, digital, uh, like a retail or a consumer product companies or uh, you know insurance companies, and uh, you know they adopt the digital wave faster. Uh, than some other sectors. Some other sectors are driving more efficiency yeah. and uh, telco sector are looking for new business models. What else can we do? Because uh, they are trying to seek growth. So the areas of opportunities in each of these sectors is different, but there are opportunities everywhere. How is design so, and engineering doing? The part uh, that you used to be associated with uh, earlier. No, I used to be associated more with uh, um, the services side and the product side, but not so much on the engineering side. But um, our engineering business is doing well, doing well. I think we are uh, continuing to penetrate uh, into manufacturing companies, uh, equipment companies, um, automobiles, um, aerospace uh, companies. So I think we're continuing to do well. Right. Last question. So uh, after three days in, uh, at NASCOM, and this is the beginning of the year as well as it turns out, what are you taking back uh, with you? I think this uh, whole uh, digital area is uh, is being talked about a lot. I think everyone is interested. And the second thing is that I met a lot of people here who are running small companies and startups and I collected so many cards. And it was fascinating to see so many people uh, doing so many different things, whether it is in apps, whether it is in analytics, whether it is in uh, any one of these technologies, but so many startups and uh, small companies who are uh, trying to do new stuff, which I think was uh, very fascinating to see. So I hope that we can uh, we can learn more about these companies as we uh, 
go on. I think such opportunities are there, and even in TCS, there are different packets in which people yeah. um, are building new tools, new technologies. I think so. It's a, it's a, it's a huge, uh, uh, huge transformation in terms of intellectual property, in terms of platforms, in terms of productivity. At the simple level, it will be more productivity, and at the other end, it can be um, innovation. At at what level, uh, you know, time will tell. But I think. Uh, I'm a very positive guy, as uh, you know, and uh, I feel uh, there's a lot of potential and uh, uh, there'll be many things that will be coming out of this country. Sure, that's a very warm note to end on. Thank you very much, Chandra, for joining us. Thank you, Govind.